We're at Cove Lake State Park and we're gonna do some carp fishing, canoeing, camping, and we're gonna see some carp fish do some wild things. We just got to the campsite. We brought the canoe down. I think we're gonna launch straight from our our camping spot, honestly, because it's it's right there. Hmm. Sam or Sally Salamander? Sam is a grind. Yep, he's in the same spot. All right, I got these uh, stakes here. This is this is some awesome fish hold fish uh, fishing rod holders. You can put them in the ground here, just like so. And then you can stick these on here. Tighten down, and you get a boat rod holder in the bank. It's amazing when the campsite is all set up and all together and you get to do the relaxation part. So this camping trip will be more about relaxing. Look at this. How picturesque are is this view? Are you gonna make the whale now, Are you gonna make the whale? We're in spot 35, which is a tent only site. They have, you know, campers and stuff and the bathroom's not far away. And it's a beautiful little campground. I love it already. I like the waterfront yeah, part. Totally like I'm gonna sit in my seat and just watch the water and there's a bunch of geese just swimming around. Tom was so disappointed about our failed Dale Hollow trip that I found another trip that we did really quick because we have a really big vacation coming up. And I thought a little camping trip, I don't know, a week and a half later we go on our trip and we can try to carp fish here. So we have fishing poles, we'll do some canoeing because it's a beautiful little lake. I brought a bunch of fishing gear for catching some carp. We've got some panko breadcrumbs. we got some, some sweet corn. And some strawberry jello. We're gonna make some carp fishing bait. And uh, I'm gonna pour this stuff in here. We're gonna put some jello in. Not too much. Now we're gonna add the sweet corn juices. You don't add the corn? We're gonna add the corn. I don't wanna add too much. You don't wanna add too much corn or too much sugar in the jello. Oh, I don't want to pack well. You wanna be packable. Oh no, that packs perfectly. Look at that. You pack it real good. And just that's good packable bait right there. So we got these method feeders. These method feeders are just something to hold bait so it, it can attract the fish to the, to the hook. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this bait here. I'm gonna pack it right on here. Pack it right on the method feeder. And then now you got a nice big bait ball to track fish. The geese are gone, so now we'll put some corn in the water because you're not allowed to feed the birds, obviously. You're not allowed to feed the geese. Don't feed the geese. Well, any any of the waterfowl, it says. So nothing in the water can be fed. So we waited until they have gone way downstream, and so now we feel safe to throw some corn in the water. So this is this is fake corn. If you take one or two pieces of fake corn. corn. Ooh, Ava wants to feel it. Go ahead, it? sweetheart. It kind of feels like sil it's, it's like silicone. Careful, there's a hook it's not on real the corn. Can I feel it? You want to feel yeah. some? Take Make sure to hand it back cool. to daddy when you're done. Don't lose them. Like All right. I wonder what corn. Like. So these are supposed to be a little more durable. This is squishy. <laughs> you don't want squishy corn? It's squishy. It's kind of, I think it's made out of silicone. I think okay. we stab it through this needle. Mm -hmm. Put it on here. Like this. On your, your loop here. And you can slide your bait on down onto your, onto your line there. Oh, that's cool. And then we get some of the, what's it called, stoppers. And you get little stoppers like this. And you put them on to keep the, keep the fake corn from falling off. I got it. Then you got your stopper. You can kind of slide the, the corn back down like that. We got our bait ball. So we're going to crack carp with our bait ball. And we got our hook in the bait ball. We're going to cast it out. You don't even have to get it cast it that deep. But... We, got our, we got some alarms here, so we're going to put them on the rods. That one, I dropped that one right in the water. I'll have to get that one. Good extras. Another thing you want to do is you want to make sure your line's not too tight. The carp have very soft lips, so you don't want them to rip, rip their uh, hook right Put themselves, their yeah. Oh, you got one! You got one! Is it a good fish? I thought the fish. Wow. That's a big one. That's a good size one. 
Oh, he don't wanna. Oh, he's pulling still. He's pulling still. All right, hey, well, this is your fish. It's your fish. Huge. It's your fish. <laughs> it really looks right, like let's a, let's his name. Put a dead let's person. Put, a, put him in, in the mat here. Take care of him. We don't want to be into the fish. All right, lift, lift this all the way up. All the way up. It is 12 pounds, 11.9 pounds. 12 Woo, pounds, 12, 12 pounds pound carp. Fish. He is, oh, he's a fat boy, but he's not super long. He is 20, 25 inches. Woo, whoa, 25 yeah. inches, woo. Look at that baby. Yeah, look at that fish. <laughs> Get some sideways photos. <laughs> All right, should we let him go? Let me see his mouth. Kiss your lips, let me see the kiss your lips. You interrupted our lunch. Turtle, girls, a big turtle right there too. All right, battle. Ava and Daddy, you gonna All put right. it back in the water? In the water? You, I, we don't want you to fall Chase in, baby. Right away. There you go. Oh, that was exhilarating. Oh. All right, Elizabeth, we got another one on. We got another one on. Oh, it's coming. Woo! He's angry. He's got it. Oh, you got it. We got another one. We got another one. Woo, Elizabeth. There we go. What's the number? What's the number? What's the number? Oh. Ten pounds, fifteen ounces. Woo, Elizabeth! Oh, that's Woo. a big fishy. He's so slimy, I can't get a hold of him. He's a twenty-six. He's a long guy, not as fat as the last one, but he's long. Oh, look at you! Got him! You got him! Look, can I see him up top here? It looks like a catfish. Yeah, All right. Are you sure? Where are you going with him, Elizabeth? Where are you going? It looks like a catfish. Okay. All right, Elizabeth. Another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, he's a good one right there. Ava, guess what? You got a Just under 15 pounds. Right, you get the full length there. Stretch out the tail, make sure she's good. 20, 28, 29 inches. 29 inches. Did you get it? What do you think, honey? Was it a good fight? Yes. And, and I, that's two rods out. We got two rods out of the water. We can't even get the other one. I can't even get the other one rebated. Mommy caught the biggest one yet. Michelle caught the biggest one yet. We're gonna let him go. 15, 15 pound fish, basically. There he goes. Uh, he ran off. I was so gross. Look at this. No, Mommy's a little gross. This is my fishing clothes. You can take off your jacket. <laughs> a little gross. Get a little slime on you. Uh, Just a little bit. They do have showers here. <laughs> I might need one. <laughs> oh yeah. Is it a big one? Yeah, it feels big. I wonder if it's beating me. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Woohoo! <laughs> uh, I'll see him bring right into you, Ava. There we go. Oh, lift him, lift up, lift up hard, lift up hard, Ava. Oh, he's a fat boy, yeah! Woo! Whoa, that's That's a fat boy right there. Chunky one. I don't know, honey, I might, I might beat you. This guy's pretty chunky. 14, 14.5. So mine was bigger. Michelle's a bear, 14, 14 and a half pounds. He's a, he's a short guy. He's about 25 inches. You wanna see? You can pet him. I have fishy. Yep. I caught a fish. All right. Let him back in the water. Let him go. Hopefully, gently back. Oh, he's slippery. Gently back in the water, buddy. You get to go home. You ready? All right. There you go. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's off to another one. That's that's five fish. Five fish. We only lost one. Daddy's that is an experience. Daddy's Your adrenaline happy. just starts shooting up and you're running. Oh, it's great. I love it. Can't stop smiling. It is an experience like like no other catching a big fish. Oh man, anybody can enjoy that. You don't have to like fishing. Got him here. Bring him in. We got another one. Oh, you're like a fish. He's a large measure. We got him. We got him. Measure him. He is 24 and a half inches. Eight pounds. Eight and a half pounds. Wow, nice. Eight and a half pounds. He what do you think running. of that? That's a pretty good one right there. There you go. Could you hold up a camera? Camera <laughs> Two fish at the same time. Let's see. Oh man, can we get both of them in though? That's the thing. Oh, we got it almost. I think it's on a log. 
I smell something fishy. Oh, what do you smell fishy? The fish. Ah, that's right. Name, I need a name for belly. Belly. Okay. Belly. Okay, okay belly. Lift heavy. Lift hard as you can. Oh, it so is 11, 11 pounds. 11, 10 and a half pounds. 10 and a half pounds. That's a baby. Turn to mommy. Okay. <laughs> turn, turn, turn Look, it's belly fish. Show his tail. Bring his tail up. belly fish. Bring his tail up. That's a good one. Can we change her name Slimy? Slimy? Okay, there's Slimy. All right, well, slimy. Let him go now, okay? Whoa, okay. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Slimy, you don't slap, slap in people in the he's face. In the oh, no. He he's almost slapped you in the face. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slimy? Whoa, he's. he's <laughs> I like that you named her Slimy because you know what? She's pretty slimy. Bye, okay, Slimy. We're going to take a break from fishing and uh, cook up some dinner on the Coleman stove. we got to get it all set up. Okay. What are we cook up, cooking up, Mommy? Barbecue chicken and some veggies because I've got the potatoes. So. Well, actually, it looks like something yeah, pretty gonna good. We're going to do potatoes with chives and all sorts of stuff, but yeah. Instead, it's just going to be chicken and veggies. Maybe some dessert. Um, bro broccoli might make for a nosy tent. We'll see. Broccoli and me do not agree. <laughs> no, we're not complaining. Your special it stick? Show, it, show everyone your special stick. Why is it special? It's a crayon. Because it grates? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Oh, I see. And that is why you bring your kids camping, because they find sticks and use them as crayons. Well, what's better than that? Really than them staring at the TV at home, in my opinion. Go back in the mat here. It took a little while to cook, but we're finally there. What do you think, girls? Food? <laughs> I feel like we're taking a picture. What is that? What is that alarm? I don't know. It means get out of here now. So we've had a very successful four, first day here. There's a vacuum here in my face. We caught seven carp, and then we caught a, a couple others, but we didn't get them on shore. And we got slimy. Yeah, like look at this. It's disgusting. I'm it, covered. It turned into dry, dry. Yeah, it's like crunchy now. So we're going to get our jammies on, get into the tent, and get ready for bed, even hey. though the sun is still shining. Good one today. Good or not? <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're We've got our jammies on. We're all tucked in bed, and we're going to watch a movie about a dog and yeah. then head off to bed. It hasn't yeah. even gotten dark yeah. outside. Ava's here too, but she's reading, she's a, book. reading a book over there. Yes, and she's my little Ava's reader. over there reading a book. You saw daddy fish this well, morning? Mommy fish can jump out of the pond too. Mommy fish are like this big. Daddy fish are like this big. No, sometimes mommy fish are the bigger ones. Do you think there are more fish for us to catch? Yeah. We catch lots of big ones? Yeah. Yeah. Nice to have a little toasty warm fire this morning, right girls? Yeah? Make a little tea this morning. We just ate our breakfast, and we figure we would go out for a quick paddle. It's not a very large lake, but I think it'll be fun to just paddle around a little bit before we do a little more fishing today. So those are our big plans for the day. Ready to all go for, for a paddling trip around Cove Lake? Yes, we are. 
All right, well, let, let's get going on the water. So we turned left, went down. I mean, that's that's the end right there. It's it's not very far, but we're gonna go around the other side now. The temperature is perfect. A little bit warm, but there's a, a nice, like somewhat cool breeze. There's a good breeze here at this at this lake. We get to go through a bridge, girl. <gasps> we get to go under a bridge. Ooh, that's excellent tunnel. I have no idea how far this goes up ahead. Like if it continues on a bit or if it just ends, because I have not looked at the map when we tell them. Let's see, does it continue on? Oh, it looks like it continues. Wait, maybe it ends right there. I don't know. Tom said that we're not even in the lake yet. I thought we were in the lake, but we're not even in the lake yet. Up ahead, I thought you'd have to turn left, but he says you have to go right. And then we'll be in the main lake, I guess, soon. I love when you can see the sparklies on the water when the sun's hitting it. It's pretty. It's relaxing. Birds are flying. Look, they're sitting all over the place and flying everywhere. Whoa, they're like all over the place. I don't know if you can even see that. I can't see it on the camera, but maybe you guys can see it. All those dots are birds flying around us. It is, it's really pretty, isn't it? Well, we have made it to the lake, which is still very tiny. It has beautiful mountains all around. Look at all that seaweed. Oh man, going through the seaweed forest. Scary. Are you scared? No. Are you scared? No. Seriously? But it's big and it's scary. There's lots of seaweed. When our deep oh, is here. It's gone. If you want to put uh, any watercraft in the water, it does cost money. So it was for us $8, but it's for the entire camping trip. Cove Lake State Park is on the outskirts of like Knoxville. So although it feels and looks pretty country, you can still hear a little bit of car noise. There is some type of factory, like I said, that has like humming sound all night. But for those of you that are nervous about, I don't want to be in the middle of nowhere with no cell service. This place has cell service. You're not that far away from everything that you would ever need if you need something in the middle of the night. You're not in the middle of nowhere. See the splashing over there? That's carp spawning. That's cool. Okay, girls, sit down. It's cool the way they like slap on the top of the water and then you can see like, well, up there like fins like a shark, but it kind of feels like that. There's like a little wake. Now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna, yeah. just saw some mommy and daddy carp fish. So if we don't catch any today, that is why they've come to the seaweed bed for their babies. Now we're heading back. There's a sh very short paddle here. Yeah, it was like, oh. <laughs> I had the camera on for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Is there a walking path here then? Yeah. Oh, there's a little walking path. I don't think there's any like true hiking, but there's some hiking in the area. 
called Egypt Falls or Triple Falls? Egypt Falls or Triple Falls, which we are not doing this trip. Oh my goodness, there's geese right there. Hey guys, didn't mean to come up on you that fast. We need some assistance over here. Yep. For what? Two again? We got two on, two on the line. Get the net, get the net, get the net. This is what you call a proud father of two daughters. I cannot be more proud. Oh my goodness, two at the same time. Look at both my daughters are hooked up. Both of them are hooked up. I got one. You got one. There you go. Two. 23 inches. 23, 23 inches. inches, good. Let's go to wham. Let's come up. How about easy? He is nine, eight, eight, nine, nine, nine pounds. Eight nine. Nine, nine pounds. <laughs> there you go. Look at you. Right, I thought those two are married. Let's let him go. Right. You thought you weren't going to catch anything. Woo! All right, go. We're fish two. 25 and a quarter. It is a tie, eight and a half, nine pounds. All right, Bella. Bye, Bella fish. All right, let's let him go. He's gone. Put it down, put it down. Lift hard, lift hard, lift hard. How many pounds? 15.2. 15.2? You beat the record now. It's over 15. Woo! Good job, Ava. Alright, mommy. Sliming down what into you think? my shirt. Hello. That's a good size fish. How big is that one? That was the biggest one 15. yet. 15.2 pounds. 15 pounds. 15 pounds. And 30 and a half inches long. It's 30 and a half inches long. He's a big boy. Hunka, a, hunka, right, hunka. Let's... What am I doing? I can't get you to the water. Oh, sorry. That was not a good release. Oh, no. Turn around. He's in there. There he goes. There he goes. All right. How was that experience, Mommy? He was big. He got caught up in all the lines. Yeah, we got to fix all the lines. We were robbed into this thing. All right, Elizabeth. Where's the net? Lift, 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 lift. Hard, 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 hard. Lift, lift. No, 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 no. no. I got Well, he's a monster. This one's the biggest one yet. That's for sure. Oh, my goodness. He's huge. He's huge. This is like a 20 pound carp. Ah, ah. That is, he's huge. Oh, he's a big boy. Yeah? All right, well, now we're gonna weigh him, okay? 18. You're holding the camera, honey. 18.6. 18.6. He is a. 31 and a quarter? 31 and a quarter? And this, this is why I go fishing with my kids, because they get to catch stuff like this. And this is way more fun than any sunny Smile. you can imagine. I mean, look at that thing. He's huge, he's a monster. I actually see my back is straining holding him up right now, so we're gonna let him Sorry. back in the water. He's in. Oh. He's his right. I'm very proud of this fish. Ah. All right, let's let him back in the water. Dad, I think I should make you a paper origami fish now. So let's let him, big boy, back in the water. All right, gently let him go. I'm actually gonna stick my foot in here just to gently let him go. Mommy got the camera ready? Yeah, it's already on him. There he goes. And that's the way you're supposed to do it. No stress to the fish. Perfect. 